hello welcome back to my channel in this video we'll be making cake a very simple way on how you can make cake the first thing i'm going to do is to get my eggs i will separate the egg white from the egg yolk that's what i'll be doing right now now please if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and do that click on the subscribe button it is absolutely free to do that click on it and be part of this wonderful family also it is not enough to subscribe turn on your post notification bell that is the bell icon you're seeing down there turn it on so that anytime i post videos on this channel you'll be the first person youtube is going to notify now after um separating my yolks from my white egg white i'll go ahead and mix them Next, I'll get a different um, plate and then in here, I'll add milk powder and add water to it and turn this into a liquid milk. Now, if you have your tin milk, you can actually use it, okay? It's because I don't have a liquid, um, I don't have tin milk, the liquid type of um, milk. That's why I am just trying to make do with what I have. So just get powdered milk add water to it and mix i'll set that aside and then we start the cake proper so in here i'm going to add my my um butter this is a separate uh, bowl for my cake. So in this new bowl, I'm going to add my butter. I'm using one sachet of butter for this. And uh, I'm just going to keep a little amount that I will use to grease my cake pan. Okay. Just a little amount for the cake pan. So just in case you want to ask me for the measurements, just know that I used one sachet of this, one sachet of butter but i left a little amount very small that i'll use for my to grease my pan to this right now i'm going to add sugar i use half cup of sugar personally i don't like my cake sweet i don't like sweet cake like cake that is too sugary i don't like it so when i make my cake i try to make it using very little amount of sugar so that i can eat and enjoy it so i'll go ahead and whisk this now in this video we're making both the chocolate cake and the milk cake okay so i'll go ahead and whisk this until it becomes very very creamy and fluffy You know it's fluffy enough when the color changes so when it becomes that fluffy it won't have to be this yellowish again it's gonna be something like um it's gonna be something creamy something like milk color like not so yellow as it is right now and also it is going to almost double in size when it becomes very very fluffy Now I'm going to add my egg yolk to this and whip together. I 
I will gradually add in my egg whites. Gradually. I won't add all at a time. There is something egg white does to this kind of mixture and that is what I'm trying to avoid. I also discovered that when you add your egg yolk first and whip alongside the butter, it, um, it makes the cake fluffy. Anyways, do whatever works for you. If adding both at the same time works well for you, then go ahead and do that. This is my own pattern. So I'll add in the egg whites gradually. I won't add everything. I used four eggs for this, right? So the egg whites that are added to this is like that of two eggs. So let's just say I used two egg whites and then four egg yolk, right? So I just, I kept the remaining egg whites. I will fry that and use later on. So now I'm going to add flavor to this and I'm using butterscotch flavor. I actually like butterscotch in my cake. Yeah, I love to use butterscotch flavor. But you can um, replace this with any other kind of flavor that you have. Any flavor is fine. You can use any kind of flavor. I've tried a lot of flavors and I think when it comes to cake, I actually like butterscotch. So I'll whip this to mix very well and then I will set it aside. Now um, this is my flour. I'm using two cups of flour, just two cups and one teaspoon of baking powder. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to mix this very very well before I start mixing everything together. So I'll add a small amount at a time i'll add a small amount of the flour and then i'll add in my milk the milk i prepared earlier i'll add a little amount of it and i will whisk small amount of flour small milk and i will whisk right this is the very first one so this is what i'm going to continue until i exhaust the flour so let's do it together Now I'm going to keep just small amount of the flour for my pan, a very little amount, very very important. Okay, keep watching, you'll find out what I will do with that flour, a very small amount. So this is it. So right now I'm going to grease my pan. The essence of this greasing is so that when you're done baking, your cake can easily come out of your pan. It's not going to stick. 
to the pan okay that's why it's important that you grease so while working with your um your butter and your floor do not forget to keep a little amount of it it's very important so i'll just spread it around make sure that it touches everywhere then i'll go in with that floor that i kept now this floor just look at the way i'm doing it just um allow the floor to touch every part of the of the pan this method this process is going to help your cake not to stick to your pan okay so that is it now after doing this you're meant to like uh, now after doing this you're meant to dust it okay so i'm just going to transfer my cake right in here i will divide it i'll divide it because i'm making both chocolate and milk cake so i'll divide it this one is this and then the remaining one i'm going to make this a chocolate cake now the remaining one i'm going to turn it into a chocolate cake so i'll add my milo to this right you can buy the other chocolate in the market if you want but what i use is milo add milo and add little very little amount of water to it adding water to it is optional okay you can just add the milo now you want to add until you get the color that you want until it becomes maybe dark if you want something darker but i will just add until i get what i want I hope I'm still going to whip it. And then I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix everything very well. Okay, so i'll use my very small oven to bake this i'll leave the picture on the screen now to be sure that your cake is fully baked you want to dip either toothpick or knife if it comes out clean like this that means your cake is ready so i'm going to leave it in the pan to stay till the next morning so the next morning this is what i have just check out my cake <laughs> it's very nice let's cut and um see what it looks like now look at that look at that okay so that is it thank you so much for watching please go ahead and subscribe to my channel this tastes so good like so so good you can just pick this keep in your fridge and then yeah eat it whenever you feel like eating thank you so much for watching please subscribe like this video and share it thank you i'm gonna see you in my next video